Hello everybody and welcome back to Eternal Flames, this is Blaze speaking and today we're bringing you a tutorial on these little bastards Nanotech Distributors Now Nanotech Distributors, if you know, start at tier 6 and they kind of worm their way back up through the ranks from there on so if you're about mid grade or higher you should be able to get these same as your wings however these guys have quite a few interesting stipulations I literally have a list now first off they can be used to either heal or damage your enemies or not heal your enemies you know what I'm saying so they heal about 25 percent of what a tier SMG of the same kind would do which means that if an SMG does about say 100 damage you do 25 healing you get the idea they do about 8% of the DPS of an SMG however they are 100% accurate meaning they they will literally fire wherever you're pointing in the story unlike say a you know particle cannon on the other hand you can only have six at a time so I'm sorry guys who are instantly thinking oh man I'm so gonna load up you can't there's only six you cannot heal yourself which is a big thing so repairing yourself kind of out of the question and um, yeah that pretty much covers it the only thing I can say is it does have a limited range and uh, I guess I'll show you what kind of limited range it has so now that you know the specifics I would like to show you the healing function but these things kind of make you a target in most multiplayer fights right now so I'm trying to avoid showing you guys a horrible fight but I can at least show off a bit of the damage for you so let's see if we can find ourselves another robo here and uh, if you notice once again perfectly accurate they're great to maneuver and position however you feel and they they're pretty much like um, top SMGs okay let's go ahead and up oh, there we go and look at it. it just rips these guys to shreds so benefits and downsides of this weapon the benefit is it's fast it's capable it's stable the problem is its range because if you notice that guy down there I can't hit him yet so you gotta get up close there's no exceptions to this rule you have to get up on them to do a lot of damage so no matter how you look at it you're stuck in close range might as well have like a laser sword or something right well anyways there is a couple options to use this and if you're going to be a ganker or a sneak attacker this is probably the weapon for you for those of you who like to hang in the back and kind of help your allies out and get them out of stitches this is also a weapon for you how for those of you who like to do long range sniping or those cool things with grenades well this is not the weapon for you and I caution against using it if you plan on doing long-range combat because it, it it won't work it's not gonna happen you're not gonna get long range with this it it's just not there okay well that's gonna be it for me for right now I'm gonna go ahead and take off and you guys stay safe stay well be careful out there and just remember where there's a heavy there's a medic and where there's a medic there's always some form of pain. Later, everybody. Whee! I shoot lasers. Yes, I do. I shoot lasers. How about you?